We wanted to make gumdrop lights, so we did what any logical maker does and built our own gumdrop vacuum forming machine, spent too much money on glitter, smashed our mold, waited for glue to dry and dry and dry, and here's how we did it. Today, we're making DIY gumdrops. Hello everybody, today we're going to make some glittery gumdrop light decorations for our holiday light show called Harbeck Lights. If you haven't seen our show, you can check it out here. Uh, so at first we thought we could just find something off the shelf, like some buckets or cups or you know things like this that we could just use and buy as is. So since we couldn't find anything online, we did our search and we didn't like any of the shapes that we saw online, so we decided to do it a vacuum form. We thought we could um, make it a little bit more complicated. <laughs> Crazy! So we're thinking we could model the shape in the computer, we could make the shape exactly how we want it, 3D print it out, and use that as a buck to vacuum form over. So let's try it. Let's go to the computer and see if we can make, make a model that we can use as a, as a mold for vacuum forming. Let's go! I created a quick gumdrop model in Fusion 360 uh, this is probably one of our simplest models we've ever created. Really, it's just a spline um, in the shape of the gumdrop that we wanted. Uh, really, the main thing was being careful to create good draft angles so that when we tried to release the model, it was going to be easier to release. Uh, the 3D print was probably about like 15 hours because we wanted some strength in there just because we were going to be uh, kind of vacuum forming on top of down on top of it which was going to be a little bit forceful so once we had the 3d print we lightly sanded it and then coated the model to give it a bit more strength and remove some of the print lines this was not completely necessary though since we will be covering it in glitter but it was still nice to be able to do that a little bit before we before we started uh, making a whole bunch of copies of it Okay, so now that we got our mold printed out and cleaned up, uh, we're gonna try to do some vacuum for me tests to see see how it goes and see what kind of uh, gumdrops we can get out of this this shape. Okay, so after many unsuccessful attempts, we were able to remove it finally. Finally got the plastic removed, but it was not easy. We tried a bunch of them. We've tried a bunch of different things. We've tried putting baby powder on here. We've tried other mold releases, but it's not very easy. This shape is maybe doesn't have enough of a draft angle to allow the plastic to come off of there easy enough. And as we were uh, a little bit too hard to get it out. We actually did a little bit of damage to the top of the mold. So unfortunately, we need to go back to the drawing board a little bit here. Either create a new model that has more of a draft angle, or we can do what's called a negative mold and create a mold that sucks the plastic in. And then once it's cooling down, it'll contract inwards and hopefully be easier to release then for us. So back to the computer to make uh, either modifications to this model or a new mold. To create the negative mold, we went back to Fusion 360 
created another uh, spline shape that we could revolve. What we needed now was just to add some little tiny holes so that the vacuum could be pulled downward. So we created um, as small holes as we could, but still allowing enough airflow to pull the hot plastic down into the mold here. This time we didn't try to remove as many of the 3D printed lines. Um, since again, we're going to be putting glitter over the top of it. Why waste the time making it perfect when the surface quality was just going to be covered up and we didn't want to mess up any of those tiny little holes inside the inside the mold. All right, we're back. So after a bunch of work, we have a new mold buck for negative vacuum forming. It's a negative mold, so the plastic's going to be sucked in. You can see there's some like little holes down in here that will suck the plastic and we've got our hole on the back for the vacuum for the shop back so hopefully this will be easier to release since when the plastic cools it will contract inwards and it'll be easier to release so yeah we're going to give this a try and see what we get out of this box much easier to release um, we are getting like a little bit of wrinkling up here but this is all going to be trimmed away anyway so all we're going to be left with is this which is which is coming out much better now so now it's time for glitter and LED lights Thank you all for watching and let's go and see the final results.